Hello, in this recording we're going to refactor our dice game to use the observer pattern. The example is maybe a little bit contrived but we will keep it simple and uh, you will hopefully understand a little bit more about the observer pattern used in a model view controller architecture. So we start from uh, the code where we left it off using the model view controller pattern and we have the three packages model, view and controller. If we run this game, well, maybe it's not that fun. So let's try to make it a little bit more fun and a little bit more exciting. So basically uh, the idea would be to have a small pause between the rolls and have the user know that the first dice rolled this and the second dice rolled some other value. And by knowing that this having a small uh, delay between the roles, uh, the game will be a little bit more exciting. So to add a small pause, we can just use the uh, thread class. And let's say two seconds. So now we roll the first dice, then the program sleeps for two seconds, and then we roll the second dice. The problem here is of course that we would like to display the value of the first dice on the screen so that the user can know that I rolled this, now I'm waiting for this other dice to roll, and I must get this number. And we cannot send a message from the dice game to for example the controller because that would violate the model view controller architecture then we would have a dependency from the dice game from the model to something in the user interface in the view or in the controller so that's a no-go in this case we will then design a solution using the observer pattern instead so looking at our design it looks uh, something like this and to use the observer pattern we need to create an interface and we need to put this interface into the right component and we need to decide who is the publisher of events and who is the subscriber of events so looking at the code it's the dice game that wants to notify someone else that the dice was rolled and this was the value so it is the dice game who is the publisher this means that we should be able to add subscribers to this publisher and the interface itself must be located in the model because that's the only place we can put things since it's the dice game that is the uh, observer or publisher. So let's create the interface first. have an association because the dice game should contain a number of uh, objects that implement the dice rolled observer. Call it subscribers it is of course private it can contain zero or many let's not put the limit on that uh, and this is not navigable so something like this and let's add an operation let's call it dice rolled uh, value so we have this, or we can do it like that. So 
So something like this then. Uh, so the dice game can contain objects that implement this dice rolled uh, observer interface. It will call dice rolled whenever a dice is rolled and supply the uh, value of the dice. Now we need to decide who should implement this interface. And I think it's a good idea probably to let the player be the one that implements this since we have no dependencies from the view stuff to the model stuff. Uh, adding an implementation here would create a, a dependency. And well, if we have managed to keep this uh, free from dependencies right now, I think it's uh, good to keep it like that. So the player will be the one that implements or realizes this uh, interface. So the design will look something like this. So let's implement it. So here we have our uh, interface with our method that we have uh, decided upon. Uh, we need to add some functionality here. So array list, for example, the array list automatically and so after the first dice has rolled we should notify notify sub, subscribers and d1 get value This was pretty neat. <laughs> Let's just call them S. So we have the notify some, and we need to be able to add and remove subscribers too. So this is pretty simple. Public add subscriber
So basically that's it. Uh, and now we should let the player implement And of course, we need to add the method uh, public void dice roll. So, what should we do here? We should probably print this, and there's no function for that in the user interface right now. And another problem is that how can I get the user interface object if it's local to the play game method uh, we need to do something about that so i think the easiest way is probably to lift this up into the constructor of the player class instead so uh, we have a so ui as a field and we have also the dice game as a field Constructor, so we'll do it like this dice game field. And we also take the opportunity to add ourselves as the subscriber to the dice game so that we can get these events when things happen. And when the dice is rolled, I need to use the UI and I need to uh, show dice roll message and send in the value. And we don't need these as parameters anymore. All right, things are happening. Uh, we have some changes to do here. So these have moved to the constructor instead. And we have a final thing to do because we need to implement this method too in the view. Oh, let's put it together with the other. So something like this. I hope this will work now. So let's clear. Let's run. So now the game should run. We should get the first dice rolled. Uh, if we have uh, done this correctly. Yes, the, the first dice is rolled. The observers, the subscribers are notified and we sleep for a while and then we roll the second dice and this was the wrong order right we roll the second dice and then we notify the subscribers again and uh, yeah this should be it i guess let's try it yay definitely more exciting So that was it. Uh, we saw how we could send a message from something inside the model to something inside the controller without adding this direct dependency from the model to the controller. 
Since this is prohibited and not allowed in the model view controller, we use the observer pattern to do this instead. The final design of our little game now looks like this. One observation you can make is that while we do have uh, part of the domain classes left, we have the dice game, we have the die, and we have the player. We now have as many technical classes just to get this thing working. So we have something for the user interface, we have something to start the application, and we have this interface to send messages. So we are adding these technical design classes to make things work as a software. And this is quite common. So that you have a trace of the domain left in your design, but you also need to add other things so uh, things actually can work.